And I also, my fa my kids live in Maine, and I found out there's an Ulmer family up there too, but uh, <laughs> not not many of us in my part of the clan. Okay. But yeah, we did some work in Williamsport a number of years ago, and I saw the Ulmer names up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for seeing us, and um, I'm. When we visited the last time, I just, I, I love this church. Yeah. God, it's gorgeous. <laughs> and it, it has lovely acoustics. And um, the case in the front is just absolutely magnificent. Um, what we found, however, is that we have an instrument that has, in our opinion, not been cared for very well. Not necessarily a fault of you, folks. Um, it's been through a flood. Um, it's been added onto, it's been detracted from, it's half solid state, half electromechanical switches. It's just sort of a mess. <laughs> and there are things that don't work on the console which keep your organist from being able to play things on Sunday. We were able to fix one thing very quickly when we were here the last time. It was very simple. We weren't quite sure why it hadn't been fixed in the past, but um, we'd like to help you folks figure out a solution to what you have here, a solution to the problem. But I guess we're here basically to answer questions that you folks might have. I know you've talked about you know, repairing this organ, there's some thoughts about a different organ, thoughts about an electronic organ. We don't sell electronic organs. Um, we don't deal with them at all. So we thought maybe it would be helpful if you guys could ask some questions or let us let us help guide you. We'd love we'd love to do this project. It's it's neat. You said we were half solid state and half uh, whatever you said. <laughs> Electromechanical. Electromechanical. Yes. Which way would you go with that? Solid state. You would go to totally solid state. Why? The electromechanical switches are worn out on this organ. Um, they've, they've lived their life, and it's not worth repairing them. Sorry. Okay, thank and you. Solid state gives you so many more options of playback, record. You can record what's being played. The organist can you know, record a piece for the choir, for instance and come up here and direct without having to play the organ. Um, oh, that's spooky. There are, <laughs> there are situations, <laughs> and we don't want to put organists out of business, but it's difficult to find someone to play the organ, as you know, and you know the distance that Seth travels. And it is possible in an emergency that you could record hymns and someone could sit at the console with an electronic control and say, okay, play a mighty fortress, and it will do that. Um, will you be able to hook up into the MIDI kit that we're going to have for the console as well? Yes, it could be. Yes. I didn't understand yeah, the question. Oh, just say I want to make that sound. I could, you could hook that up to the console, and you could actually play the organ from there, and actually accompany the choir with yes. whatever's up there with, with the piano. And, and really? the organ console could also access the MIDI sounds that are in this unit. We don't have a problem. We don't, we don't deal with electronic organs. I, they're not real. <laughs> um, and their longevity is, is short. Uh, average life of an electronic organ, despite what builders will tell you, is about 20 years. 20 years, you're going to have to buy a new one. Pipe organs generally last forever unless they've been through floods and, and have had damage done to them. Um, the, but the MIDI sounds, there are some interesting sounds that can be used in worship. There are choral sounds, there are orchestral sounds that can go with the pipe organ and augment it, but they're not fake pipe sounds. They're not, um, so that your question okay, so is a long, long answer, but yes, you could. You're, you're, you're all solid state, you would recommend. Yes. What other changes would you recommend? Uh, does that depend upon how long we want it to last, or does that depend upon... Uh, what other changes would you recommend making? Or repairs, if you would. We have a similar situation to this organ in State College. It's a Wix organ. It's worn out. And we worked with the church, and they finally decided it was not worth putting any more money into it. 
they purchased was this, uh, the university was getting rid of a Holt Camp pipe organ, which was one of the best pipe organs built in the United States. Um, replacement value on that organ is about $800,000. They just purchased it for $15,000. And they're going to put it into their beautiful A-frame church up in State College Park Forest. So it was our recommendation that they just not put any more money into the Wix organ. Uh, Wix uses a proprietary system of what are called direct electric magnets. Is that what we do? It's, okay. it's partially Wix. It's been added to with other things. So it's, it's not the original organ. It's not the original it's Wix organ. I have to say, whoever installed this display in the front, it's beautiful. I would not touch that. I would definitely want to keep that as a part of whatever would be done. Um, but they use a proprietary system. It's a direct electric magnet. It's a magnet with a valve that sits under every pipe. And they have axles on them which eventually rust and stop working. So at some point, if you kept this organ, those valves would need to be replaced. Now, in a, an electro-pneumatic organ, you have valves that are controlled by air, and those valves have to be replaced eventually. Um, up until 20 or 30 years ago, the leather that was used had a 30 or a 40 year lifespan, especially in the country, not without pollution. But the, the advances in leather have been that the leather that we use, which comes from Columbia, Pennsylvania, there were there's a company there that, that processes the leather for organ builders all over the world. They do tests on that leather regularly, and the lifespan of that leather in a non-polluting kind of environment is about 60 or 70 years. So if you went with that kind of a system, we'd all be gone before that ever needed to be replaced. Um, and that's somehow different from this gone to all electromechanical. Solid state. All solid state. That's a whole different, That's a different subject. Solid state is what controls okay. the pipes. So we got to do that. Keys. We got to do something that controls the pipes and the keys and something that controls the airflow into the pipes. That, right. That's not good enough to stand as it is right now. No. Okay. No. And the solid state system that you have, I believe, is no longer supported. So mm -hmm. we couldn't even add to it. So we have to do a whole new system. Yes, that, okay. I believe so. Okay. Uh, and plus, you would not you would have something that is fifteen or twenty years old, solid state, and you'd be putting some. It's like new wine into old wine it. skins. Yep. <laughs> but when you said about that that organ is that for fifteen thousand dollars in the state college, how much did it cost you to adapt it and, and install it into the new space? Um, they'll that whole process will probably end up being. The removal is difficult because we're dealing with the university and we have mm -hmm. to comply with all kinds of OSHA <laughs> regulations and yeah. safety equipment. I mean, not that we do things that are dangerous, but it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost about $35,000 just to take that organ out. It's oh on multi-levels. <laughs> the whole process for that church is going to be maybe $150,000 for the whole project. But to replace the organ is $850,000. Yeah. They're getting quite a bargain. Is there anything needs to be done other than the two things you've mentioned now, getting in a whole new solid state system and putting in uh, the things under the pipes that would last for however long we decide to make them last? You said there's a 10-year option and a 40-year option. <laughs> I think I understood. Or an 80-year option. 80 year for the leather. Well, the it, it leather will be here when we're all gone. Mm -hmm. It would depend the kind of action that you have under the pipes. If you would keep exactly what you have right now, I wouldn't want to warranty it for any for any time period. Those valves can corrode. It, okay, it so we're gonna we got to replace the valves then too. Well, I I think if you keep the pipe work that you have and you decide to keep the chests the way they are. You would want to replace all of the valves that are there now. There are some, and that okay. Go <coughs> ahead. No, go ahead. Well, there are some inherent problems in keeping things 
configured the way they are. I mean, we could probably rebuild the console, put the solid state switching system in, and replace the valves under the existing pipes. And you would have a serviceable instrument for a while, but there are some inherent problems in the way it was put together in that you really can't reach to tune and maintain a lot of the pipe work that's inside the case. It's, it's extremely tight. You need a very, very small childlike person to get in there. Uh, to Seth, you got thin arms. <laughs> I said, Seth, eight. you got thin arms. Yeah, I used to be, well, because the, the trumpet is about eight feet up there. But yeah, I mean, um, you need somebody tall and thin. Yeah. And uh, while we're not particularly <laughs> tall and thin, uh, we, are oh, able, we are able to get into very, very tight places, believe it or not. But that one is especially challenging. And I think it would be in your best interest to uh, make some changes to the configuration because you're investing a fair amount of money, and you want to be able to use it to its fullest extent. I think we would love it if, you know, when you said a $15,000 organ, you know, I don't, I don't think it would, we're talking about $100,000 of, you know, because this is a much smaller state. They're going to tell us in a second. So we don't really have so an idea. I said, they're going to tell us in a second. You yeah. don't need to think. We want to know what's the cost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You're right in that the right. organ in, in State College is quite a bit larger than could fit in this space. Right. Uh, there are uh, opportunities out there where uh, smaller organs or pieces of organs can be configured to work in smaller spaces like this. And you would, could have a wonderful instrument that would last you for you know, 60 to 70 years with uh, very little maintenance. Uh, it's going to last a lot longer than an electronic or digital instrument, which is probably going to give you a 20 20-year life cycle before it needs serious, uh, serious work. Okay, so to do that, what what is your estimate of the cost? The whole thing, everything. Could I ask a question sure. before you do that? <laughs> is is all of the what you've described so far? <clears throat> do you have to do all of those things? I mean, if you have the solid state, then that controls the sounds through the pipes too. So it's all one big thing. Is that what you're saying? I mean, they're not, you wouldn't do, like, you wouldn't do the solid state and, it do, it and doesn't control the bypass the pipes. Oh, right? oh, no, it doesn't control the sound, it controls the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it controls, I mean, some, some of it doesn't work because the action, doesn't, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't even reach the pipes. Yeah, maybe I'll you know, back up yeah. one little step. Uh, when Seth presses a key, uh, just one key, and he has one stop pressed uh, on the stop rail, he wants one pipe to speak up there. The, the solid state system that we're talking about is what controls the connection between Seth's key that he's pressed and which pipe speaks up there. So the solid state system that we're talking about controls how the console works and how it communicates to the pipe work that's up, upstairs. Uh, it doesn't make any noises that you would hear, uh, but it has the, uh, the ability to have Seth play the sounds that he wants to play when he wants to play them. Uh, it's, it's a control system only. Okay. So that is a key. Uh, that's something that needs to be done because the control system that's in here now is not functioning very well. And it is a, it's a, mitch, a mix. There's some uh, of the old style system, which are called electromechanical, and the newer stuff, which is solid state and they don't really work too well together. So to kind of pull this all together, we have to change the control system and we have to change the, the leather thing on the stops for the pipes to make the sound come out of the pipes the way we want it to. Is that, have I understood that correctly? Yeah, the, the system that controls the airflow into the pipes right now uh, there's a, uh, a small leather disc mm -hmm. on the armature of a magnet. And when the control system says, I want to play this pipe, that valve, if, if this is the, the underside of the chest and the pipe sits here and the toe of the pipe sits on this piece of wood here, the valve is underneath here and it opens like this. The magnet pulls it away from the underside and allows wind to escape through a hole 
into the pipe and it makes it speak. <coughs> and when you leave go of the key and you say, I don't want this to play anymore, then this goes back into place. There's a spring that pushes it back. Well, there's a couple of problems with this type of action. The first one is that you have this angled valve. And I know it's hard to believe, but there's actually sort of a vortex of wind that occurs when the wind goes into the pipe. And it oftentimes affects the speech of the pipe. This is not a system that we use in our company. I mean, we will replace it when the customer says, we want to maintain the chest, we want to keep the same kind of valves. We'll replace them if that's what you ask us to do. But if we were building anything new for you, we would not use that kind of valve because we don't think it gives the best pipe speech. And after all, what we're interested here in more than anything else is sound and supporting congregational singing and allowing you to enjoy the music of the liturgy. So that's what, that's what we're about. But what happens with these magnet units is they corrode and then these axles that open and close the valves don't work effectively. Sometimes they won't open, sometimes they'll stay open and won't close. So that we've experienced those kinds of problems in lots of other churches where we've seen this and our company likes to replace that with something else. Okay, so, so that's the second part, it's, is replacing the valve, so the control panel and the valve. And then you want to reconfigure as well while you're at that? I don't know well, the reconfigure piece. Uh, the, so you can reach in and get at the things. Right. Uh, the arrangement inside the, the chamber where the pipes are. It wouldn't affect it visually. No, as Harold pointed out, <coughs> we would certainly want to maintain that center right. presence uh, depending upon what you decide to do as a congregation. If you decide to add pipe work, or to reconfigure, you may see additional pipe work outside of the chamber on either side mm -hmm. of, of that center flap. Uh, that's, it, it's, the stencil pipes are, are just beautiful. They're so attractive, it would be a shame to disregard that for any reason and, and not use it. So uh, the plan would be to do everything possible to maintain that. Uh, and, but you might need to use additional space outside the case for pipe work. Bringing this back to if we did if, if sort of import other pipes from other organs, is it possible to maintain, to keep the chest, I mean, to keep the case, excuse me, and then you're keeping the chest as well, keep the case. Um, maybe basically keep the configuration, but bring some other organ into that space, or is nothing that you possibly could find to innovate that a fire rank? Oh, absolutely. We, we yeah. know of one right now which is available and we were thinking about it. It's a molar organ which was built in Hagerstown. They're no longer in business. It's the largest pipe organ builder in the world. At one point they built over 12,000 organs. Um, we have access to one which is four sets of pipes um, and small enough that it would fit behind, probably fit behind what is there right now. Um, it uses electro-pneumatic action, and all of the chests and things up there would go away. But we probably all of what would add go away? more pipes on chest. either side to give you more tonal resources. Would that would be, be being electro-pneumatic? Would that make it much more difficult to install? In terms of my concern. Yeah. Yeah. What about the time factor? How do you talk about that? It does. It does. <laughs> Uh, if you were to ask us to simply rebuild what's here, replace the valves that are in the chest, uh, renovate the console, Harold, what do you think it would? Uh... Well, that could all be done. That could all be done in our shop. Oh, okay, thank you. Sure. That could all be done in our shop ahead of time, so that it basically would be the removal of what's here. Bringing in the new equipment and putting it in it could probably be done in a month. And, and the whole process might take a year in our shop. Mm -hmm. so what would happen? Be replaced. The keyboards. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Can uh, you decide the keys are in good enough shape to retain, or well, I, I can't remember. I think what what we discovered was that there's some very unusual spacing. That's right. That's in, right. in these keyboards. Uh, we're not sure how that happened, we're not sure why it happened, 
uh, but it, they're they're not uh, they're not typical in terms of their spacing. It plays, but the space between the black keys is unusual on this organ, and your fingers get stuck between them. And if you're trying to play, that's a real problem. Hers don't because they're smaller, but mine do. Yeah. It's it's an oddity, <laughs> and I'm not sure if it was part of the it's original your fingers organ small. or if it came from somewhere else. But the keyboards are just weird. Um, All right. We, the now we got keys. keyboards. Yeah, that came from Dunlop. We would not retain them. Um, can you can you give us a, a plus or minus twenty percent estimate on the whole thing and on each? Well, you, you've kind of tied it all together, so I guess I guess you can't do part of it. You can't just do the, go to all uh, solid state and not do the pipes. That would be silly. Now we want to do the pipes. Now we want to do the keyboards. We 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 really gotta we gotta talk this over with the rest of the vestry, and and the congregation. I, so I, we need a we need a fair estimate. I think the, the the approach that you're talking about is kind of what happened here. It was done piecemeal. No, no, we want you. But yeah, there wasn't a comprehensive plan that says, okay, here's what <coughs> we want the organ to look like. Here's what we want it to sound like. Here's how we want it to be controlled, and this is what we want the console, and all those things, rather than saying, okay, well, we're going to do part A now, but we're, uh, we don't, we're, we'll worry about the other stuff later. Well, then, you know, we could die, and then you'll get another company come in and say, ah, that was a dumb plan, we're going to do this, and then you end up with a mongrel of an organ, <laughs> something that isn't cohesive. Um, and so we haven't talked about the tonal resources. Are there enough resources there for the liturgy, for the post loop? Can't loop? ask us that. Sounds great when it works. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say no. We don't need any more. But he'd probably say, "Oh yes, I'd love more. Well, I can do this." this and well, this. I like what's there. I think. I think when I said about you have another organ, um, there's some stuff. There are only five ranks on this organ, so it's basically five five kind of pipes up there, and there's some I don't use. So what you're hearing is you're hearing the principle for hymns. You're hearing the uh, you know you're hearing the, the softer stuff sometimes, and for communion I'm always playing the same stuff. So I mean it's always very it's always going to be the same, and it sounds fine. Um, you know one or two more ranks wouldn't hurt. I would like to know, I, the reason I ask this, I don't know what you have in your shop, what you could install, and how that would affect the price. It would be cheaper than having to rewire an entire organ. If you already have something that is functional hooked up, that you could just... Well, rewiring the organ is a key issue, yeah. because this organ has, I believe, <clears throat> all cotton-covered wiring, which is mm -hmm. not National Electrical Code. Mm -hmm. once, oh. once you touch it, in, at least in our company, you need to replace it. There are other companies who will say, ah, you're not gonna have a fire. Well, National Electrical Code says you need to replace it if you're going to touch it, and we don't want to pay more insurance than we're already paying. We're insured for millions of dollars in damage, but we don't want to take advantage of it, believe me. So everything would have to be, if we kept the wind chests that are there now with the valves that are there now and not replacing them, we would still have to rewire all of those chests to the solid state system and then the solid state system to the console. Okay. Um, we, we did an organ at a church in York, St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. And uh, I knew the pastor well, and he said, I have X amount of money, what can you do? And we essentially built a, not a new organ, but we gathered parts that we felt were very appropriate for that instrument. And it ended up, um, now we used the console that was there and we used the keyboards that were there because they liked the way it looked. I would have preferred to have new keys for it. But we kept the old console, it's all solid state. It's about three times as big as this, and we did it for, um, the pastor could spend up to $99,999.99. So we did the organ. Now, on that organ, the best stop on the organ is the room. 
the room has a two or three second reverberation and it makes the organ just absolutely fabulous. It would sound different somewhere else, but there, there are things that you can do for a very modest amount of money. Um, there's You're modest a, in my Well, mind. it's modest for us because that was a 15 rank organ, correct? And we we're going to have a five rank organ in space if we do not expand on either side. Mm -hmm. So we want to know if we if you have an organ like that, if it's going to be incrementally less, if you actually could do it for fifty thousand or something like that. No. And, okay. No. So no. let's explain how the process then. Like. So what it, would it be here? You just told us what it was there. Plus or minus twenty percent. Right for an <laughs> organ because he didn't replace the console. That's why. Is that it? I mean. I'm not sure of the question. All right. The question, all right. Mike. Well, we well two because all right, if you have if you have a hundred thousand dollar organ that's three times the size, and we're having we have a five rank organ, um, why is it not a little bit less to install a much smaller instrument, which might cost us ten thousand dollars for the instrument, but the installation and depending on what you need to do to it, you know, basically what's in your shop when you say you have uh, or you know what you think is at hand, why that's not significantly cheaper, or if it is, how much? And all I care about is, I don't care an answer to any of that, I just want to know how much. <laughs> Plus or minus 20% for doing what you just said, or what we just all listened to. If you do everything. Uh, are, you, are you looking to have the chests that are here reused with the pipework that's here? Or are you looking for new chests? Or are you looking for I don't know what a chest, chest is. A chest, a chest is what the pipes sit on like and there? how they control. We don't want to lose They're behind I don't those. That. They're yeah, okay. behind those display okay. caps. But the valves... Um, yes, we'd want to do the valves and stuff. Everything you said, now you didn't mention anything about a chest that sits on before. Yeah, that's what... Alright, when we're talking about installing a different organ, basically, no, if you're no, ripping no, up your chest, obviously that adds... Right. <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah. now we're not losing it. What, what we would... Somebody answer, and loudly. One question at a time. The first question is, if we're talking about a, a different organ that you are, you are basically putting in the existing space, but you already have the organ, it's $10,000, just for example. We are looking to know how much that would be. Get us for how much, Bill? How much that would be to, to make it functional in the space. So basically, it's new. everything is new, or coming from somewhere else where it's not 60 years old. All right, if we, uh, and don't, don't hold me to these prices because I'm, I'm not, I, I, I don't like to do that because it's, there, there's so many variables. Mm -hmm. But if we took the organ that we're thinking about and if we took everything out of that gallery and we put that organ up there with, with the keyboards from that organ, work on this console. You see the, the console has issues with its with its case that the veneers coming off, does that matter to you? It doesn't match the pews. Do you want a console that matches the pews? There's so many variables. Is there anything wrong with the console that's coming with this organ? The keyboards. Oh with this organ. With the organ that you're it won't match this church. It's uh, not. Yeah, but inside of it though. I mean we're, we can refinish it or stain it. I mean like it's it's not it doesn't work. Oh, this is only like yes. way more than this one, and it, and it would it would have a solid state system put on it. The, we have another church that's interested in this organ, and we were to put it in at that church as is, well with its with its um, modifications. I think was around fifty five or sixty thousand dollars, but it's not going to give you any more tonal resources than you have now. But but it's a molar, right? Mm -hmm. It is. Um, how many ranks? Five? Four, four. Four. Can we add one from the old organ? Because we don't, we're not going to sell, the, I mean, honestly, the, the pipes are, I don't know how much they're worth on the black market. We can save some of the pipes and add, you know, add <laughs> some of that. And then for the, you know, you might, all right. Remember that question because that's, it took us a while, but the focus of that question is basically we are importing another organ with a, New console that's solid state and it, nothing's going to break on it. It's a not a new console. I'm sorry. Okay. Newer. Yeah, completely <laughs> renovated. Right. Right. Like new. Right. So it's not a rebuild of what we have, it's something new in. 
for the range that you're looking at. Like lying in use. Second hand. So. I mean, that would be great. A brand new plan. organ would be more than yeah. that. The, the, one it sounds spend. like there are two a options now. Thousand There's the dollars. option to fix yeah. this to one in the way you described, or, or he wants to bring in a whole new organ now and take the old one out. I didn't say I wanted to. I want a quote. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so that quote is 60 grand to put, install it. That's what it was for that church. I Roughly. Have to, I'd have to. <laughs> Does that include the cost of the organ? Plus or minus 20%. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That includes bills. The cost of the bills at he's like okay with plus twenty percent. So that's that's one option. That's the Seth option. We'll call it right now. The <laughs> option you described first is that about the same price, and that's using making this solid state, fixing the the stuff, and and putting in new keyboards and, and keeping everything else and new valves. Uh, new yeah valves. Is that about the same it price? Would be a little more, I would say, because of the cost of the valves and the cost of the keyboards. So it's, Unless we could find used keyboards, but they're difficult yeah. to find in good shape. So it's actually cheaper to get this whole new used organ. Mm. But wouldn't we still have to do the valves for the pipes? No, they, this one comes, the, the, the we organ lose our pipes. Talk, it comes oh, with it, it, and we would re it. It has not been re but we would re it. It would have all new, the 60, 70 year leather in it. But those pipes wouldn't be there anymore. Yeah, Our beautiful they, pipes feel. Oh, yeah, they would. They they're, 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 they're just decorative. They're, 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 they're just decorative. Yeah, no, no air comes through them. No sound. Real pipes? No, no sound comes through them. Those are dummy pipes, those are good speed. Those are race pipes. And I think people are confused because I always think the organ as the keyboards, yeah. but that's not what it is. That's the console. The pipes are the organ yeah. and the wind and all that. The so pipes, The display pipes actually would play. They are functional pipes and they could be made to play. Okay. And that's an option. So it's 60 grand to 100 grand, somewhere in that range. Okay? Because, see, that's going to be a big help because somebody had false numbers. It was like me, you know, like false truths. Yeah. What was I was running around 300. I don't know where that came from. You, you would not have a place for people to sit if you built a 300,000 <laughs> <laughs> we, we would not have a place for We would not have people to sit there if we brought a $300,000. It, it could be if you used everything. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, break the window. <laughs> Okay. I, I would. I don't want to sell you folks more of an instrument than you need, but I don't want you folks to shortchange yourself no. by having an instrument that doesn't give you some flexibility. This doesn't have an awful lot of flexibility to it. Um, I would love to see. I mean, if, we were talking about this on the way up. If we would have.